But what about the New Testament? Do we have any evidence that supports the New Testament, the Gospels particularly that tell the story of Jesus? Well, in fact, we do. We actually have a skeptic who about 25 years ago said there were no synagogues in Israel in the time of Jesus. Synagogue buildings were built later, at least a generation or so after the time of Jesus' ministry. Well, if that's true, then the Gospels are terribly inaccurate because all four Gospels say Jesus taught in the synagogues. And yes, the word synagogue, a Greek word, originally meant a group of people and a, a gathering of people, but the word did come to mean the place where they gather. By the way, it's the same as church. Originally, the word church meant the gathering of believers. Eventually, it came to mean the actual building in which they gathered. So the same thing is true for synagogue. So were there synagogues in the time of Jesus, or is this something that's later? And so when the gospel writers are writing, they don't realize how anachronistically they're reading back into the time of Jesus buildings that didn't actually exist. That's what this scholar argued for. Strange that he argued that way because at the time he argued, we knew of at least three synagogues that did reach back to Jesus' time. But in the years since then, we have found several more. So where are we today? Well, there are 10 synagogues that we know of, two others that are being examined. And by the way, there are ways of dating these things, the kind of pottery you find, the coins, the architectural design, and so forth. So the archaeologists can determine, usually with give or take a few decades, what the date of the building is. Now you see that one, that's up in the Golan Heights, that's at Gamla. That's a synagogue. So look at it carefully. Can you see the rectangular shape and if you noticed on the outer walls, it's like bench-style seating. And that's the way the synagogue was designed at that time. Not like it is in church today, where you have rows of pews facing forward. But the synagogue back in Jesus' time had the seating around the outside walls looking in. The idea was you would look toward the middle of the room and meditated and thought about the scripture you heard read, read, and the sermon that you heard preached, and so on. Okay? That's a distinctive style. And you can also see the foundations of the pillars. There would be interior pillars that actually got in the way of your vision, and that was to encourage you not to look at anything, but to just look vaguely into the middle of the room and meditate. So all synagogues have this exterior seating, bench-style seating, and these pillars. Well, there's one right there up in the Golan Heights. And remember, Jesus on one time said that a, if there's a city on a hill, its light can't be, you can't miss it. It shines, a city on a hill. He could have been referring to this city right here because if you were down below on the Sea of Galilee, you would see its lights at night up there in the mountains. The Romans destroyed that in the year 67 during the Great Revolt, 66 to 70, when the Jewish people attempted to throw off the Roman yoke and Rome defeated Israel destroyed the city of Jerusalem, and destroyed the temple, even as Jesus had foretold.